Hi, I'm Brad, and happy to you get started thinking on this problem. By how many times does the sample size have to be increased to decrease the margin of error by a factor of one seventh? So this question relates to confidence intervals, and you may have seen them in these different forms based on the context of different problems we're looking at. Um, the first is to do with means of a sample and the proportions within a sample. And regardless of which type of confidence interval we're using, we can address this type of question by focusing in on what's known as the margin of error, where all of that that occurs to the right of the plus minus sign in the confidence intervals. So these we call margin of error that I have underlined in the blue here. And in the question, we want to decrease that by a factor of one seventh. So let's call margin of error ME. And we'll write an equation for margin of error using one of these formulas. And it doesn't really matter which one because all else will assume to be constant, uh, the sample size or n is the only thing that we're interested in um, solving for or figuring out how we need to increase in order to get this decrease for the margin of error. So there are some behind the scenes or asides that we need to consider here. What would uh, decreasing something by a factor of one seventh entail. So here, the analogous situation would be decreasing the price of something by one seventh, or let's say by ten percent. If we have something that is one hundred dollars and we want to decrease its price by ten percent, then that sort of factor that we're looking for is 0.9. So 100 times 1 minus our discount of 10% would get us to 100 times 0.9 and the final price of 90. Analogously, let's think of the 1 seventh factor. So if I want to decrease this by one seventh, then my factor needs to be one minus one seventh, or one hundred times six sevenths. And that, if our initial uh, thing were one hundred, would work out to six hundred over seven. But we're not in the situation where we have a hundred dollar item. Uh, we're in the situation where we have some abstract margin of error and we want to reduce it by this amount. And so just as we had in that last example, thinking about price reduction, we're going to reduce margin of error by one seventh and therefore multiply it by six sevenths. <clears throat> so how does this relate back to our original expression? We would see how we can reduce margin of error by one seventh by introducing this multiple of six sevenths over here. And since this is an equation and we want to keep it balanced, then we would uh, resultingly multiply by six sevenths on this side as well and continue in this fashion until we have solved for n. In other words, um, relating it back to the original margin of error, seeing what the factor is or the multiple is on n that results from working through this system of equations. And I'll be happy to show you that if you would like to reach out to me. Just click on the link to my profile and send me a message, we'll set up a meeting.